It's time for a Bible story. This is a story of a guy named Peter. Whoa, that's awesome. This is one of my favorite stories. Really? Yeah, dude. I love Peter Pan. Flying around, fighting pirates and whatnot. Roo, V, O. Well, that's a great story, but we're actually talking about a different Peter. Oh, cool. So it's Peter Parker then. He's awesome too. What up, Spidey? Wrong again. This is a real story about a real guy from the Bible named Peter. You know, one of Jesus' disciples. Oh, that Peter, gotcha. So what's his deal? Our story begins right before Jesus died on the cross. Up until this point, Peter and the other disciples followed Jesus all over the place as he taught people about God, healed the sick, and performed tons of miracles. So Peter got to see everything Jesus did? Man, that would be so cool. I bet seeing all that stuff totally made him like a rock solid dude. He had to have amazing faith, huh? Well, you'd think so. But even though Peter saw everything Jesus did, his faith actually started out kind of wimpy. What? How come? Well, before Jesus died on the cross and was raised back to life, people were just people. They didn't have any power over sin. Instead, sin had power over everybody. So that meant fear, doubt, and all kinds of junk had free reign in people's lives. Okay, so what does that mean for Peter? Here's an example. When Jesus was taken by the Roman soldiers, the disciples were close by in a crowd waiting to see what would happen. Three different people came up to Peter and said, hey, I recognize you, aren't you one of Jesus' disciples? But Peter lied to them all three times and denied knowing Jesus. Wait, what? Wasn't he like one of Jesus' best friends? Yep, but he still denied knowing Jesus so he wouldn't get into trouble himself. What the Jim Jam, Peter man? Why did he do that? Well, that's what I mean about how people didn't really have any power inside them. Peter's fear controlled him so much that he denied knowing Jesus. Man, that really is some wimpy faith. So I guess he just like stayed wimpy like that, huh? Man, that's kind of a bummer. Not exactly. Let's fast forward a little bit. Check this out. Peter stood up in front of thousands of people and told them all about Jesus. He wasn't afraid of what anybody thought, but instead he was filled with boldness and courage. That day, 3,000 people were saved and joined God's family. Whoa, hold on. That's the same Peter we were talking about a second ago? Yep. That's amazing. He's like a totally different person. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. Jesus happened. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, we're able to have his spirit inside of us. And that's what gives us power over sin. Before, Peter had wimpy faith and fear totally controlled him. But after Jesus gave him a new spirit, he had the power. Well, that's just a big old bottle of awesome sauce. So before, he was just like a regular Joe with wimpy little faith. And after, he turned into a beast mode, spirit-filled macho man. Couldn't have said it better myself. And here's the cool part. This isn't just true for Peter back then. It's true for all of us today, too. Whoa, really? That's awesome. So like when fear tries to push me around, I don't have to take it? Nope. When Jesus gives you a new spirit, you've got the power. I've got the power! Exactly. Just like Peter, when we have the power of Jesus in us, we don't have to put up with fear. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, yeah, it's like the coolest thing ever. My thoughts exactly. The end.